Ember Tools stuff. The reason why I didn't want to um, get started with that is because if I open up Ember, um, Ember Books, it doesn't, so when, you, when we get to my, the demo of the app I bought, or I, I bought, I created the app on the internet. Um, <laughs> the I did, um, all my code is, is, is in, it's in an app.js file and it's in an index file. I have my templates in the index, index file or in the index.html file, which is not the way you want to go. But I didn't want to get into how are you going to break those into different, different files. In this case, Ember, this one uses um, common, the common JS module thing, and then that's why you gotta run, run Ember build, because essentially it's gonna put all the stuff into two files. You know, so, so here's my controller, a book controller for listing out the books, um, um, and the edit controller and the new book controller. I have my models, which is just my book model. Um, and then some routes, so I have my books route, and then it's got my templates here, so if we look at books <coughs> template, I can see there's going to be a for each in there to, to link over the books that are in the control. I mean, I didn't really want to go down this route because there's a lot more technology in here than what I wanted to show for, for Ember. But Ember Tools looks like it's pretty cool and they're going to add support for other things like A and B modules and that type of stuff. Down the road. So, so now let's let's dig into the code that um that I did. So this is this is going to be pretty basic at first. I mean it's pretty basic throughout, but the goal here is to just get you introduced to uh, some of the different Ember uh, pieces. So in this case we're going to do step one, which is I mean it's a hello Ember, and I think there's a little bit more in here because if we go to uh, um, shelves, then it's going to list out some of my shelves. So we'll, if we look at the code here, so let's start with my ember.app. Can everybody see that okay? <coughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my ember application. So I have app equals ember application.create. That, that's all we got to do to get started. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build my router. This is, if you've come for Rails, this is very Rails esque. I have this.route shells. Uh, I put in the path of what the URL is going to look like, and then that's the only route I have in there at this point. So, at this, so something to understand is that, so at this point I said, hey, this dot route shells. So when I do that, Ember, um, Ember will create objects for you. That's one of the cool things that, 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 that really made me about Ember. And if you get a chance, if you, if you spend some money to go look at the peep code, uh, peep code screen path, they do a really good job of building it up, and then they just go, at the end they go, okay, here's all the code we delete. Because they go through and they write, they explicitly write out all the code that needs to be there, and then they go back and delete the, delete the code that's just automatically created by Ember. Because this is, like I said, very Rails-esque. There's, there's idioms you follow. And so if the fact that I said this.route shells, it's already going to create an app.shells route for me. So if I did not want to set a model on this, I would not have to have that shell route. It would automatically be there. We could go in the um, in the debug and it would say, "Hey, I, here's a generated shell route." The only reason why I wrote it is because I want to set the model property, and the model property is just telling this route what what is your resource that you're trying to route to. That's that's essentially what it is. So my shell route is actually is is a resource on top of all of my uh, books, my shells. In this case, it's the shells with different books on it. Um, so in this case, I'm going to I'm going to return app.shells.find. Now, app.shells.find is just calling the find method on my shelf model. So I set up my store, which is a fixture adapter. I'm setting up my uh, my shelf model, which is uh, just calling ds.model.extend. Has many books. Has a category. Um, we'll talk more about book and shelf as we go to the next step. So then, so in this case, I have a question. Yes. Where's the DS object coming from? Is that an Ember object? It is. It's Ember data. Okay. It's the Ember data. Yes. When we look at, I'll, I'll show you the includes when I look at the index.html. The one other thing I need to do is, um, so here at that shelf fixtures, this is where I'm setting up the actual data that I'm going to um, test my app with. So I have, um, I give it an ID, I say what books, 
are associated with that, with it, in this case, the books with ID 1 and 2, and then what's the category of this, this uh, shelf? In this case, it's uh, JavaScript. And then I have another one, and then one science fiction. So if we look at the, the index.html of the file, and there's a, too much, uh, right here is that Ember data, includes that, that, uh, that I was talking about. So in this case, I have three handlebar templates. I have this, this first handlebar template here that does not have the data template name. That's going to be the application <coughs> template. That's going to be, if I just had create app, and if, if I just had app.create in there, and I brought up the page, then this is the template that would be shown. So I set up some, uh, some layout stuff, like the, the books navigation bar at the top that uses uh, um, Twitter bootstrap that nobody's ever overused at all in any of their talks. <laughs> and, uh, and then the, the key thing here is, is I set up some other layout stuff and then I have this outlet. I can just like, point it into the, 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 yard, the font genre here and, and actually just highlight it here. It has this outlet. So <clears throat> Rails has something similar called yield. And the, the weird thing about this is Ember has, and I could be totally talking wrong here because I'm not a big Rails developer, but I know Rails has yield. Um, Ember has yield and outlet. Outlet is where I'm going to stick the uh, controller that is um, that's 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 in in your that's one of your children, excuse me, 